Hey everybody, welcome to Detox 101 Erase. This video may quite possibly be the most important video that you would ever watch in your entire life. And I know that's a bold claim, but the reason why is because we live one life. And during this one life, you spend it trying to become the best version of yourself, continue on to world domination, and you're gonna hit a wall. You're gonna hit a plateau. Days are gonna go by, days are gonna go by faster, and you're gonna start waking up with the weight of the world on your shoulders. Everything's gonna feel heavy. You're gonna have a ton of baggage. Now, I know my drawings are at a third grade level, but the concepts in this training are going to be extremely comprehensive, and they're going to change your life. So the current you right now is tied down by a ton of baggage, a ton of old habits, food every single day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the consumption of technology. You're just overloaded with stuff, thoughts, food, chemicals, pesticides, GMOs, plastics. The list literally goes on and most of you are toxic. The way to go from the current you in a very toxic world that we live in into truly the best version of yourself, there's one step. Doing a detox. And the reason why is because doing a detox is like hitting the reset button. Do you ever feel like you just need to hit the reset button? Now, this won't just happen one time and all of a sudden you just become the best version of yourself. A detox is whenever you feel like you need to start from a clean slate. So when you do start from that clean slate, the best you has that paintbrush because you can only paint the best picture of your life on a blank canvas. Right now, all that baggage, all that smut, that sludge, that stuff that's inside of your body, the cluttered mind, you can't become the best version of yourself. You can't paint the most beautiful picture possible and share your talents with the world to the best of your abilities. So a detox is what we need to do. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly the first step in doing that. We need to erase. Now, the very best way that I personally found to erase and start over, now again, this tool in your tool belt is going to save you time and time again. So whenever you're feeling like you just need to hit that reset button, this is what we need to do. We need to undergo some type of fast. Typically, it's food that is making you feel slow, that is giving you information over and over and over again that's just overloading your system. So by fasting specifically from food or whatever vices you feel like you need to fast from, fasting from food is the number one thing that's gonna make you feel a lot lighter. So we're gonna fast in the mornings for about two to four hours, okay? This is typically the magic number. People ask me what times do I fast, what times do I stop fasting? I don't typically go by time, I go by feel, as you should too. But a good rule of thumb is about two to four hours because that gives your body a break and you can start to pay attention to what you really need. This is where you're starting from your blank canvas. During this time, we need to flush and eliminate because everything that you've accumulated over your life, you have to empty, you have to clear. So flushing, what I mean is spring water. Now, side note, do not drink the peasant water. Now, what is peasant water? When kings and emperors and people of high status used to take care of their village, take care of their you know, peasants, they used to feed them well water, free water. And in today's world, we have a lot of access to a ton of free water, but using a Brita filter or a filter in your refrigerator isn't going to cut it. And the reason why is because the water is dead water. There's no nutrients, there's no vitamins, there's no minerals, there's no electricity to that water. So you're just drinking a bunch of, you guessed it, chemicals and dead water. So it's not really serving you. When you flush, I want you to be hydrating yourself with spring water. You can add salt. This is very important. Not table salt, do not use iodized salt or table salt. Specifically, Celtic sea salt. Now, what about pink Himalayan salt? Don't use it. I bought it into it for the longest time. I, I still have it in my cabinet, but just don't use it. It's super processed. The golden rule would be Celtic sea salt. Run you around six, seven bucks at the, the market. So add about one to two tablespoons. It's a lot 
of sea salt to your spring water, specifically 24 ounces is a good rule of thumb in the mornings when you're fasted. All of this is happening when you're fasted. So when you have nothing in your body, you are flushing yourself. You are eliminating, you're cleaning your colon, your large intestine, your small intestines, and you're flushing it with water and you're cleaning your blood because most of your blood is water, right? Your whole button, 75% of your body is pretty much water. So you want to give it the highest quality water possible, spring water that is positively charged, that has the vitamins and the minerals. And I can't emphasize enough, spring water is your key. I, ha I heavily invest in spring water. Uh, Mountain Valley Spring Water, I don't really endorse them. They don't endorse me. Um, I just love it. So add sea salt to your water. You could even go as far as apple cider vinegar. Or lime. Take one to two freshly squeezed limes, cut it, squeeze it into your drink. I prefer lime, honestly. It's it's actually really good, really refreshing. And your body just craves it. Like you, you'll feel hydrated, you actually feel more awake. And this happens really quickly. So not only are you eliminating all of the accumulated toxins and everything from your body by doing this over and over every morning, but you're actually hydrating yourself and you're gonna, you're gonna get immediate benefits from this. The last thing, when you're fasting in the mornings, it is imperative that you perform some type of movement. Now, I prefer mobility, mobility is king. We have hundreds and thousands of different mobility movements. If you don't know what type or style to perform, um, that is especially optimal for detoxing and just getting your body moving. So movement promotes synovial fluid, it promotes lymphatic drainage, it promotes blood flow, blood carries oxygen to every part of your body. So movement is king when it actually comes to living a healthy life. And movement while fasted, not only do you not have anything in your system, but you're pulling the energy stores from your body. You're scraping everything from the inside out. You're doing breathing techniques. You're just moving like you feel like you should. And a key tip for this, doing this outside. If you can, outside is king as well. You have the sun, do it with limited clothing. It's the reason the sun is the logo for Boca Body. Um, and if you move outside while fasted in the mornings, get sunlight on the skin, you're gonna have an unbelievable day. And if you do this for seven days, this is the best way to just erase and start over from a very clean slate.